is the lesson number seven exercise tutorial dr. Ken here with you today so our exercise tutorials are all about uh, practicing the mathematics and the modeling systems that we use in this particular case around parallel circuits so the way we're going to do this is step one I'm going to ask you an exercise question you then pause the video get out your calculator your pen your pencil have a go at the question step two continue to play the video and I'll give you a hint if a little assistance is required again you pause the video and finish off the exercise step three continue to play the video and I'll provide you with a, the answer but not only the answer a worked explanation which is where the power of this particular little video clip lies and then step four we're going to continue on to the next question so in this particular one question number one is what is the conductance of a 1000 ohm resistor so what is the conductance of a 1000 ohm resistor so you pause here the hint is conductance is the inverse of resistance so I hope you remembered that conductance is the inverse of resistance so our answer is conductance is equal to 1 on R in Siemens R being resistance so 1 on the resistance they gave us the resistance so 1 on 1000 is 0 0.001 Siemens would be the answer for the conductance question 2 what is the resistance of a conductor with a conductance of 0.05 Siemens so very similar to the previous question so uh, here's your hint conductance is the inverse of resistance the same as the previous hint and now to the answer um, resistance is equal to 1 on conductance so 1 on 0 0.05 if you punch that into calculator you'll get 20 ohms so something that has a conductance of 0.05 Siemens it has a resistance of 20 ohms question 3 in the circuit below determine the current in each of the branches and the total current so we've got a 100 volt DC supply, R1 is 150 ohms, R2 is 100 ohms, and R3 is also 100 ohms. And we need to find out the three currents and the total current. So pause here. Here's your hint. Make sure you calculate the branch currents first. So calculate the branch currents just using Ohm's law. Here's our answer. So, first one is 0 0.67 amps. So, I equals V on R1. So, 100 divided by 150 is 0 0.67 of an amp. Next one is V divided by R2, which is 100 divided by 100. Nice and easy, 1 amp. R3 is a carbon copy, exactly the same. It is also 1 amp. And, of course, Kirchhoff's law tells us that I total has to be I1 plus I2 plus I3, giving us a total of 2.67 amps. Question 4. In the circuit below, determine the voltage across R1, R2, and the supply voltage. So pause here. Here's your hint. It's all the same thing. Everything's in parallel. It's all the same. Don't be tricked by the way the questions asked about the voltages. They're all the same. And here's the answer. Voltage is simply I2 multiplied by R2 equals 20 times 50. Sorry, 2 times 50. What am I saying? 
100 volts. So V equals V1 equals V2. So all the voltages, the voltage across R1, the voltage across R2, and the supply or the applied voltage has to be 100 volts. Question five. The following resistors are connected in parallel across a 200 volt supply. Got a 30 ohm, a 60 ohm, and a 100 ohms. Determine the equivalent resistance and the current taken from the supply. So pause here. Here's your hint. Inverse of the addition of the inverses. So we're working out the total resistance of our three resistors first. And of course, if you're going to do this, I would always suggest you draw a little circuit diagram as well. But here, 1 on RT equals 1 on 30 plus 1 on 60 plus 1 on 100. So R total is 1 on 0.0, 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 on 100. So 1 on 30 plus 1 on 60 plus 1 on 100 plus 1 on 100 plus 1 on 100 plus 1 on 100 plus 1 on has got to be the volts total divided by the R total, just Ohm's law. So our 300 divided by our 16.67, giving us 18 amps of current. Question 6 for the diagram below again. Determine the total resistance, the power dissipated by each resistor, and the total power. So we want... Resistances, power, etc. So, invert of the addition of the inverses for resistance, and don't forget Ohm's law for power. What are the three Ohm's law power equations? Again, use your equation sheet. And here's the answer. Again, our 1 on RT is equal to 1 on 1200 plus 1 on 1800. So that was the two values of the resistor that we've got here. So that's where these have come from, our 1200 and our 1800. We've added up the inverses, which gave us this. And when we inverted it back, we got 720 ohms. So the effective resistance of the circuit is the 720. So we now have got to work out the uh, the power and the quickest way to do that is we know the supply is at 75 volts so 75 squared divided by the resistance tells us that we've got uh, 4.69 watts across R1 we've got 3.13 across 18 and then the final part of the problem was to get the power total which we know is P1 plus P2 we add them together and we get a total power of 7.82 watts question 7 for the diagram below determine R total and I total and the current in I1 I2 and I3. So determine R total, I total, I1, I2 and I3. We've got a 12 volt supply. R1 is 12 ohms, R2 is 18, R3 is 36. So you pause here while you do your calcs. Here's the hint, the inverse of the additions and again Ohm's law. In other words, we're working out the total resistance and away we go. So again, we added up the inverse. So 1 on 12 plus 1 on 18 plus 1 on 36 gives us 0 0.1667. The inverse of that gives us 6 ohms. So our effective total, our total, is 6 ohms. 
the I total don't quite know that yet so let's calculate the branch current so we calculate the first branch current I equals V on R so nice and simple the I total we know what the V total is we know what the R total is so we know the I total is 2 amps the next stage we work out the um, R1, that's this one. V total divided by R1, so 12 divided by 12, reasonably straightforward, don't even put it in the calculator, 1 amp. The next one, our 18, 12 divided by 18 tells us 0.67 of an amp, and then finally do the same count but this time with 36 ohms and we end up with 0.33 so our total at 6 ohms current at 2 amps and a total current in each of the branches of 1 amp 0.67 and 0.33 and if we add those three together they add up to 2 amps and that's a nice way to verify that uh, we've got the right calc happening here so that's um, DC lesson 7 the end of our exercise tutorial hope that's helped you embed our calculations around resistors and currents in parallel circuits